So it's been like five minutes. Let's see if I was actually right with my exp ex my guess that it every five minutes produces ten eggs. Okay, wait. Okay, so one, two, three, four. four. Okay, fuck. Hmm, my math was wrong. Unless, wait, maybe the effects of the thing I was using wore off. Okay, that's why. How many eggs do I have? Okay, one box. Well, one and a half boxes. Okay, I don't have the stuff to make another sandwich. Wait, Jerry, do you know anything about Pokemon breeding? No. Which yeah. should not actually surprise you. Do you know Pokemon anything about Pokemon? The only games I've played do not have Pokemon breeding in it. Oh, you've played only, like, the old games. I've played, uh, Red, Blue, and Pokemon Go. Hmm. Okay, where the fuck? Okay, I know one of these stores has the stuff I need. You. Make sandwich, and then I'll actually let me set up the timer for five minutes because I'm pretty sure every five minutes produces ten eggs, and it only lasts for thirty-ish. I think it's thirty minutes that the effects last to produce more eggs. I am doing math. Too bad I can't do it in my actual math class where it matters. Oh, welcome back. Yippee! It's bright. Are you okay? I think I'm gonna get them all level 55, then try and take down that fighting bitch again. Fighting bitch? <laughs> Eerie. She is. I love Eerie. She is amazing. Who? Big buff woman. Uh, one of the Team Star leaders. Oh. Is Team Star a good or a bad group? Both. What? Gray. It's gray. Okay. Like I said, both. Well, I fucked up my sandwich. I was gonna say something, but I, I think it would've been pretty bad. Uh... Oh, I still need to write down for my 18th birthday I want to play Cards Against Humanity. thing is, I was gonna say, like, Dragon said how they said I fucked up my sandwich. I was gonna say, oh yeah, just like how I fucked up my life. <laughs> Oh. These thoughts come in my head. It's Are just okay? the immediate, immediate. I don't think she's okay. 
The immediate thought is what terrifies me. Like how that immediately clicked into my head still terrifies me. <laughs> the second I Okay, right. Is... <laughs> oh. oh wow. Why is why the At fuck least I'm not I... Donald Trump. That's all that matters. What? It's my phone. Uh, hello, Hatchet. <laughs> 96 is screaming because when I came back, the first thing I heard you say was Donald Trump. Oh. Okay, sh should I explain the hatchet about the dragon thing? Do I want to know? Okay, the, my immediate thought that went in my head was when Dragon said, uh -oh. um, I fucked up my sandwich, my immediate thought was, went, went, wanted me to set. My brain immediately wanted me to say was, "Yeah, Dragon fucked up their sandwich as much as I fucked up my life." <laughs> I, I don't know why that was my first thought, but you it fucked was. up many people's lives, Bright. Hey, for good um, or for worse? Who knows? Um, right? Yeah. That doesn't explain. Why, when I first got back in, the first thing I heard you say was Donald Trump. Oh, th then I said, well, at least I'm not Donald Trump. Uh, <laughs> it's a pretty low bar you're setting there, Bright. <laughs> I don't think highly of myself. At least I'm not a fascist with daddy issues who basically got everything handed to him in life and bankrupted multiple businesses of his own as well as destroying an entire football team did y'all know that what or not football team football league back in what? the back in the, i think the late 60s early 70s there was actually a competing football league to the nfl um that was oh i don't remember the exact name of it something like uh you, uh, United States Football League, like something along those lines, or United States Football Association. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, Donald Trump was really fucking pissed. At, you know, like being a big man child. And he decided that he was going to join in with the investors on this competing league. Uh, because he had, like, issues with one or two people that were on the investment team of the NFL. And, uh, he basically ended up just completely destroying the league with his policies that he really, really heavily pushed through. Like, wow. the league went completely bankrupt within a year of him getting there. <laughs> I feel like he did that on purpose since he didn't like them. No, he doesn't like the uh, the NFL. Like, he was trying to get this company to crush the NFL. Oh. Well, and then he destroyed that. And, and, then, and then he made the NFL the only uh, football league in America. The only thing I remember from the NFL was, was the ad that had Pug Monkey Baby. I don't even know what you're talking. Oh wait! Oh god, no! You know what? Never mind. I'm gonna go back to sharks. Fuck you! <laughs> I need you to remember. Do I want to know? Pug monkey no. baby. Pug monkey baby. Pug monkey baby. Shut up! I don't even know what that is, but I want you to shut up. <laughs> is that the first time Jerry's ever told me to shut up? No. Maybe. It's not the first. It probably won't Actually, be the last. Actually, what it is, is it's probably happened so often that our brains forget about it. It's like the sound of you... It's like the sound of our... Uh, of, of breathing. Like, ourselves breathing. Like, most of the time you forget that it's there, because you're just so used to it. Oh, wait. Hatchet, I want to ask you a question. Did you see that Jurassic Park thing I sent you? 
Yeah. You, Holy you... fucking shit, it's a dinosaur. <laughs> That's my favorite Jurassic Park opening. <laughs> That's not an opening, it's a, it's a fan parody, you dingus. Oh, I mean, yeah, fan parody. My favorite fan parody. I am, I am going to take an image of... Uh, no. Well, fuck you too. <laughs> I'm going to take an image of... A uh, chain cat shark, bioluminescing, and I'm going to put in neon, like as as neon green as I can get, big letters that says, uh, "Glow in the dark, Neko shark." No. What did you say? I said no. Fuck you. I love being an asshole. You will be made to accept the glow in the dark Neko shark. No. You will accept them into your hearts. No. You can say no all you want, but they will enter your heart. No. Hey, They'll probably kill you by entering your heart. No. I feel like Bright has shut down into idiot no. <laughs> That's basically half of. That's that's half of what Bright's always doing. Two. Three. Are you saying she's typically just an idiot going no Eight. half the time? Kind of, yeah. Ten. Fifteen. Seven. Oh my god. Eight. Sixteen. No, Three. child, stop. Seventeen. Child, child, ten. don't teach Bright numbers. It's getting worse. <laughs> ten. Okay. Twenty-five. So the max is ten. Ten every five minutes. <laughs> Ten every five minutes. That's that's good. That's you're good. Really, you're really I am accident you're... I am mass producing apples. Apple no, dragons. No. Yes. So you're saying I can get the iPhone fifteen? What? No. No. <laughs> I don't even think that exists. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is this a chain shark? I don't know if it's a chain shark. Let me look. Okay, so... The Chonk. Cephalcillium Ventrosium. Oh, no, it's not a... Oh, okay. It's not a chain cat shark that can bioluminesce. It's the Swell Shark. Good job. <laughs> hey, don't blame me. Blame Google. No. I, ty I typed in chain cat shark, and they showed me pictures of a bioluminescing swell shark. Not my problem. What? Is that not my problem? Yeah, no shit, it's not your problem. It's Google's problem. What? Did you forget what this conversation was about? <laughs> no. I think she's not thinking because she's too stupid to think. I need to check something. No. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> that may as well be my catchphrase at this rate. No. Let me check. Um... Bright! Why are you saying no? Because <laughs> I can. That just makes you look stupid. Yeah. Also, uh, apparently Grand Inferno is going to be either in the high 70s or in the middle 70s by the time I get everyone to 55. <laughs> hmm. How closely related. How high is your Grand Inferno, dragon? Dragon? Hmm? How high is your Grand Inferno? Uh, in the 50s. Oh, I mine's, almost, I think. mine's almost. Mine's almost seventy. Check. I'm shiny hunting, so I'm not really grinding. Did, have you even finished the game? Well, I finished. Okay, I did all of Team Star shit. I did all of fucking Team, not Team Star. Team Star, the regular gems and the legends. Did you fight the guy by the tower? No. 
Oh my gosh. You have to go to the tower. Like fully complete I know I have to okay, I know I have to go to the tower, but did you know you have to fight someone at the school? And also I beat all of Team Star, which you have to fight a dude after you beat Team Star. Huh. Okay. I think I just found another example of um Sharp's common mating. names being dumb. I'm looking through uh, the genuses, or the families and genuses of, uh, oh no, never mind. I'm just being dumb. Wait, no? Wait, what? what? It's not me I who's being to... dumb? I need to figure a way out to make my Gaian avatar not look like a stripper. <laughs> um, okay. Time to soar. And okay, yeah, Pokemon. I was being dumb. I was just misreading the wiki. Ooh, I need to get bamboo sharks as well in here. I love bamboo sharks. It's ASMR, re removing your heart surgery. That probably exists. Are you okay? Epaulet shark? Ooh, epaulets are? I didn't know epaulets are carpet sharks. Did you, know that the, did you know that the dark web has ASMR? I'm Nobody look at the dark web. Nobody look at the dark web. Right? just stupid. <laughs> what? Well, the ASMR is not that bad. It's the dark web. I mean, there is a lot of screaming, but, uh, you know, it's, it's okay. I feel Jiri judging me right now. <laughs> I am judging I you! Why. It sounded like, did Spook just, like, in response to say, response to that say, full of judgment. They said so much mud judgment, such wow. Oh. Oh dang. Yeah, I guess that's a. I guess that's a good example of why I'm, I'm not a goddamn. Uh, shark scientist. What? I was basically like following up on a hunch of mine. I noticed that cat sharks actually look very similar to blind sharks. Uh. So, like, my first thought was they maybe they're... Related. Huh? They're related. Yeah, like, my first thought was maybe they're related. And I look into it, and uh, they're about as far related as you can get between two different types of shark. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the blind shark doesn't have any close relatives. Uh, oh they my are, gosh, I want to kill a monkey. Um, they're classified under carpet sharks. And a couple, uh, like a handful of layers down. Let me go look. You know, I yeah, and the cat them. sharks are uh, classified, I think, under cart cards. Hey, Hatchet, if I get a monkey as a pet, can I keep it? No. Why? Well, maybe. What kind of monkey? The one I'm looking at. Oh, and Pokemon? Yeah, sure. Yay! Now I just gotta figure out how to bring it out in real life. Don't no. do that. Why not? What do you I'm think? Oh, huh, it's six foot seven, so the monkey will be bigger than me. Jesus. That means I can ride it. Don't ride the monkey. That's a weird. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a euphemism. It does. Don't, it mind it. Don't ride the monkey. <laughs> Even I recognize that sounds like a euphemism and I hate it. <laughs> You're welcome. Get your minds out of the gutter. No. Die. 
Oh yeah, okay, so... Yeah, so, um... The lion sharks and cat sharks separate at the super order. They are both a part of Gallimorphy, but blind sharks are in the carpet sharks, the aura. Or I mean, so what, blind, shark, blind sharks were carpet sharks because well, they look similar to them. And uh, things I've read about blind sharks, they just sound different than other carpet sharks with how little interest uh, humans generally have in blind sharks. Oh, yeah, but that's. Yeah, but that's not much of a distinguishing factor. That's fair. It has, that has nothing to do with genetics, really. Or does In it? the same way that, like, like carpet sharks think, like, what do you think, like, when, you, when I say carpet shark, what do you think of? Death shark. No! Shut up. Carpet bomb. Carpet <laughs> bomb. Well, I guess... I guess besides now that I've brought it up, blind sharks. Like when I say carpet shark, can you do you think of any specific sharks? Uh, the basking shark. You hurt my brain, Bright. You said they were mostly... sharks. So I thought of a shark. Can when I... I say carpet shark, I feel like everyone is responding before I can respond. Yeah, like, I'm Thank primarily you, asking Jerry here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I want to respond! Sorry. I'm sorry, Jerry. I'm sorry. Carpet sharks are a generally very wide range of types of sharks, although they're labeled sharks. I'm not sure I would label all of them as sharks. They generally live around the bottom, and rather, they don't all eat other fish. I think a lot of them just eat sediments. You mean uh, filter feed? Yeah. Some filter, yeah. So, most of them are pretty harmless as long as them alone. Yeah. Okay, so what if I mentioned that whale sharks are carpet sharks? Oh. Whale sharks and blind sharks look very different. Oh, I see. Not, I, I get it. I get what yeah. you're saying. Just because it's a carpet shark doesn't mean it's closely related to other carpet sharks. Yeah. They're very different looking. That, that's fair. That's fair. I was thinking, Good. oh, the blind shark does have close relatives. No, that does not mean it has close relatives. I'm gonna look yeah, to see if they do. Actually, yeah, let me. Uh, Oro click the forms. Yeah, like right now we're talking mostly on order level. Let me go. Uh, blind shark, blind shark. I think they are like one of the only sharks in their genus and family. It sounds like they are the closest relative is the blue gray carpet shark. Yeah, and th those two are the only within the genus Brachelia Bra Brachelurus in the family. Now I'm going to look up what the blue gray carpet shark is. Oh, yeah. they look pretty! Pretty boys! Actually, ironically enough, it seems that nurse sharks are similarly, like, unique in terms of their uh, relation to other carpet sharks. As blind sharks. As in not having many relatives? Oh no, why is Nimona yeah. trending? Oh, that's uh -huh. why. <laughs> wait, I'm putting it in a dumb post. Wait, is it a spoiler? wait, wait, wait. Wait, okay, you have- wait, I'm putting in a dumb post. Uh, I want to know your opinion. Is it a spoiler? Is there a spoiler? No, no, no. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, nurse sharks share- Yeah, sh nurse sharks literally have one other shark in their genus and family. Oh, I see. And that's it. Well, welcome to Bright Silently Plays Pokemon while Jerry and I nerd out about sharks. 
I just don't it know what to like talk about. Really the only visual difference I can see between the two is uh, Kolkov's shark is a little chunkier naturally than the blind shark, and it's not really spotted. But the two look so similar that in the results, I'm getting some blind shark and some of the blue gray shark. Yeah, though that's also probably just because the internet's not very good about, like, bringing up pictures of the right species of shark when you look for a specific shark. Also, like, sadly, most of the pictures I have seen have, like, titles on it. That makes me sad. Yeah. The internet has already... <laughs> Apparently okay, it's... this one isn't the internet ru ruining sharks. Nimona, but the internet has already ruined Nimona by calling her, a, and I quote, a stalker yandere. Some people need to go outside and interact with people. Also, desperately. Um, I decided to see uh, Google News, like, to see what they have. The first thing I Dude, see is- I thought you were going to share, like, the coffee noodles and dump them. Anyway, the first thing I see is, uh... Yeah. Is, uh, Nintendo giving re- uh, refunds for Pokemon and, uh, Scarlet and Violet. Like immediately, just one day ago, that's been posted. Why? I don't know. Apparently, people don't like the game. I can open up a new tab and see the reason. Should I feel happy or yeah. frustrated that the best picture I found of a blind shark was while trying to find a different shark? <laughs> oh, it's maybe. Because, it's because of the glitches. Uh, yeah, I, I saw that image when I was, like, looking for blind shark pictures, but I decided against it because I wanted a closer up, uh, oh. image of one. Like, when I'm finding images, I generally try to get ones that, at the very least, show a decent bit of their, uh, bodily characteristics. That's fair. And I, I, I think I found a better one than that when I found Blind Shark. But that is a really pretty picture of one. That is a, that is a sweet and handsome boy. Why is there a picture of the blue gray shark's crotch? Uh, also, there's like... I don't uh, know. I don't know either and I don't like it. My internet, why? Why? That's probably gonna haunt me for a bit. Apparently, everyone. Hey, hey, everyone. Fun fact: Did you know that bull sharks, when they're swimming in fresh water, urinate approximately sixty times as much as when they're in salt water? Wow. Fun fact. <laughs> That's because they have an easier time with salt water. Also, yeah. Um, uh, I I found two news articles that I find interesting. One is, apparently, Nintendo's take, doing DMCA takedowns on any pictures on Steam that have anything to do with Pokemon Scarlet, Violet, Splatoon 3, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, Super Mario Odyssey, and Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh. Why? So, yeah, okay. uh, they don't know. Uh, they don't say why. They just don't like it. In other news, Sonic the Hedgehog creator is... Is arrested, is arrested in Japan. Yep. I'm not Wait, what? Why? Something about a uh, dragon age shit. Hold on, I'm looking at. Let's see, let's see. Alleged insider shit? trading. Oh. I think it had something to do with. No, Dragon Quest, not Dragon Age. Dragon Quest. How should I think I found a picture yeah, of Yeah, Dragon what Quest. Like what looks like a blind shark just staring at the camera. Oh, am I gonna be able to make my no bitches meme with a blind shark? No. What? <laughs> uh, yeah, I was planning to make like a shark version uh, of the no bitches. Well, how is, the, how is the blind shark be going to be able to see if you have bitches? I think well, the blind shark would be always going no bitches. It's blind. It's called that because it looks blind, 
while it's on land because it can close its eyelids to preserve uh, the liquid in their oh. eyes. Yeah, the mucous membranes. Yeah. Besides that, like, ultimately, I mean, sharks could pretty easily tell if you had no bitches uh, because of their electroreception. They, they could easily sense whether or not you had bitches with you. Also, if that shark mm -hmm. had fingers, I could totally see them going snap, snap, snap at you. <laughs> Just like I... sassily swimming up to you while snapping. No bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Maidenless. Okay, I'm gonna keep this one in like my back pocket if I don't find a better image for the no bitches meme. <laughs> that is a very nice image. That was I an accident. It. I was just looking for the blue gray carpet shark. Why is that so hard to find? Probably because it's a more obscure species. So is the blind shark. Oh yeah, but it's the blind shark's less obscure. That's fair, I guess. Wait, why is this... I'm gonna look why this one is obscure. Well, my... At the very least, my, uh... uh my Glone the Dark Cat Shark or Neko Shark meme still works because swell sharks are cat sharks. But it's just the picture I was going to use is not the correct species of cat shark that I thought it was, which makes me sad. Oh, that's just fucking sad. I I'm I think I'm seeing why. Uh, oh, the blue crate carpet shark is unlike the. Its cousin, the blind shark, seems to be uncommon and is actually threatened because of uh, commercial fisheries and the uh. aquarium trade. Oh, that's nice. That's nice! So, while well, well, people can't uh, fish tra trade the blind shark, I guess they can fish trade its cousin, which, you know, totally not a dick move. I'm being sarcastic. Where are you? Okay. No, because I feel like the biggest issue with people saying Nimona is a stalker or a yandere is the fact that they have never said this shit about any of the male rivals, who have acted very similarly. Never. Not once ever mentioned anything about being Yandere or being a stalker. Not fucking once. But when a woman does the same shit that the men have been doing for fucking decades. Then it becomes a fucking problem. Then it'd be like, oh, they're hot Yandere. Shut the fuck up. I hate. I hate how people treat female characters. I hate it so much. I'm going to snap someone I like a twig. Also, I found an okay picture of a blue-gray carpet shark. It doesn't show the whole body, but it shows a good portion of its face. Although, for some reason, there's a fish on top of it. It's just staring at the camera like a fish. Oh, the fit. Oh, the fish on top of it is a remora. Oh. A shark sucker. Aren't they, like, I guess it's shark? cleaning them? Uh, no, remoras are pretty much parasitic sharks that just oh! that, that just okay. hang or, or well remoras aren't sharks but they're a fish that hangs around larger marine organisms to like grab at scraps that they leave behind oh, okay. so it's hanging around to eat whatever scraps the shark leaves okay yeah it's not I the it's, it's, it's not like the standard type of it. yeah it's not it's not cookie cutter shark type parasite it's okay, just, that's, it's, that's okay then. It's okay. Yeah, they're they're just clingers. They 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 stick around and they annoy them. It's actually a large, largely thought that these fuckers are the main reason why a lot of race species will breach, just to get them the fuck away from them. Because <laughs> yeah, the fuck they're is annoying this? as fuck. What the fuck is this? Oh, is that a person? Like... It's a fucking glowing sword. 
Did you try pulling it? There's an obvious plank oh, stake driven thing. into the ground. Will you pull out the stake? Sure, honey. Oh, what did I just do? Something. Yeah, I keep finding those, and I keep picking those up, and I don't know what it does. When you pull out the stake, it crumbled and vanished. Okay. What? Well, well that looks like Bright's gone crazy. Let's move on. Or it's cursed. <laughs> Bright's gone cursed. No, no, to be fair, to be fair, the game, the game had that happen. It's, it's not something, it, it's not insanity. Yeah, I have it happen in my game too, so. Yeah, that's not, that's not helping Bright's case. That just means you're yeah. also crazy. <laughs> Probably, but also shut up. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'm at the tallest peak now. I see. Also, I'm sad because swell sharks. You want to you want to guess why they're called swell sharks? Why? Uh, cause people named them that because they're a deep sea shark, and when they catch them, they swell up. I wonder why. Uh. I I just I I love how so many deep sea fish get named off of people reacting in horror to bear trauma. I am finding a few okay blue-gray carpet sharp pictures, but nothing that's, like, amazing. Yeah. I'm not sure I'm... how I feel about that. It looks so pretty, but, wait, is that a fucking derpy pic? Is that so no, that's a derpy picture of a white tip uh, reef shark. Uh -huh. but that is so derpy. Oh no, I'm gonna share it because it's derpy, aren't I? Probably. But yeah, I'm probably I'm probably not going to add uh these boys to the deck just because again, there's so many fucking fish. That's okay. Mm. Also, look at that derp face and tell me it's not derp. <laughs> <laughs> has that shark been smoking? <laughs> I don't know. Wait. No, wait. The game fucked up. It put me in an area where I'm constantly going to be jumping in an area they don't want me in. Oh, I, I found am... a pretty picture of a... I... Oh, no, that's a nurse shark. God fucking damn it. I got stuck. <laughs> I'm gonna try and climb my way right. out. Right. Go to the fucking Pokey Center. Uh, yeah, thanks for that. Look at that pretty picture of a nurse shark. I'm. Also, oh, that's so pretty. That is a really pretty picture of a shark. Sure. So many shark. Mm, I agree. All of your I... shark belong to us. Fuck. All of the penguin memes belong to us. No. Fuck you. All, all of your shark are belong to us. You want to see a funny, goofy-looking motherfucker? Sure. sure. I want you to guess what this penguin's name is. Also, uh, also, apparently, I climbed up so high that I went over the world barrier and got into an area area I'm not supposed to go into till I defeat this last last bitch. I somehow managed it. I don't know. And you how. can't fly off? No. <laughs> the only way how fast is to... travel. Yeah, the only way is fast travel. You know what? I give up on finding good pictures of the blue gray carpet shark. I'm upset because they look like pretty boys, but I guess people are dicks to the pretty boys because they want the pretty boys in their tanks, because fuck people. Yeah. Okay, I want you I want you to look at this goofy motherfucker, right? And I want you to guess what this goofy motherfucker is called. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, one more. I will name him Sherman. <laughs> that is Sherman. He ha he has a legal uh, legal name. That is not yeah. Sherman. That it's yes. not Sherman. It's well not his Sherman. well his well, maybe. Well, his legal name is his dead name. His true name is Sherman. That is a guess. Guess. Guess what it's called. Guess what the type of penguin is called. 
Yes. Um. I. I don't fucking know. Just say. Did you know that there's a widower penguin and a widow penguin that likes to hang out together in one zoo? I think so, yeah. But, okay, so that penguin type that I sent, it, it's called the chin strap penguin. Can you uh, guess why? Can you guess why? Well, no shit. Oh, God. <laughs> that I could have guessed that if I tried hard enough. Is it bad that I wish the blue-gray sharks were as much of assholes as the blind sharks so nobody would bother them? Yeah. Nah. Nah, that's not bad. Like, okay, what yeah, it's not bad. What are you doing? Huh? I, I just said, what the fuck are you doing? You were just weirdly climbing on this giant gym monolith thing? Oh, I'm just trying to see if I can see any more of those uh, weird fucking swords. Okay, so I'm guessing the sandwich wall. Rods. Right? Or rods, whatever they're called. Oh, Dark Pulse! Well, I should probably... Probably just fucking hatch the eggs I have. Actually, how many eggs do I have? Let me, let me check. Let's see, guess how many eggs it. I have. How many apple Too eggs many. does this... Little shit. How... Oh my how, god, Jesus Christ. How many immorally acquired apple eggs <laughs> has the child acquired? It's Sounds not like immoral a... if the government doesn't uh, if the government doesn't know about it. A act actually no. <laughs> Gen uh, uh, wait, no, you said if the government doesn't know about it. No. Mm -hmm. I thought you're going to say like it's not immoral if the government doesn't say it's moral and I was going to say if the government says it's moral it's probably immoral. Yeah, if the government doesn't know about it, it's moral. So guess how many eggs I have. That's that's not what it means, penguin. Shut up. Guess how many eggs I have. That's thirty. Fifty thousand. Okay. Yeah. okay. Now let's see. So you've been saying that it takes about ten eggs for five minutes. You've been doing this for maybe since late last night. So what's? Well, I only started doing it like a, a bit ago. So. Oh, just a little. Oh, so this is like just from a little bit ago. Mm -hmm. Like how long ago? I can't say because then you'll be able to do the math on how many I have. Uh, actually, you know what? No, I will. Okay, so I, I counted will. how many I have. I no. Okay, I'll say I counted how many I have. Uh, so I would say an hour ago. An hour ago. So ten times. Uh, twenty. So what is that, 200? So I'm guessing somewhere around 200. I have 96. Maybe half an hour ago. I think I did my math. Wait. Maybe, maybe 40 minutes? No, 40 wait. Minutes. I did my I did my no, math it, wrong. No, it was an hour, never mind, because I think the sandwiches last uh, 30 minutes. I like, well, how many... F okay, five minutes... How many five minutes are there in an hour? So 10, 15, 20? I think 5, no, 10, 15, 20, no, 25, 20. 30. So yeah, there's 10. Okay, okay, yeah, so there's 10. So if you were doing it for about an hour, it should have been about 100. I I miss, I messed up my math. Yeah. So yeah, that's, a, that's about around expectation. That means it would only take about six hours if I re- or like seven maybe at most. If I got really unlucky. I love Kelda. Yeah. It's the first introvert in all the Pokemon games. It takes about a minute to hatch them all. Ooh, so or it's hatch, okay. It takes a minute to hatch them the hell alone. Oh, me? What? Me? No. I was saying okay, the Pokemon you know you're fighting. You know what? Okay. Right? Right, I'll make you a deer, a deal, okay? I'll make deer. you a deal. I will make shut you up, a deer. Shut the fuck up. Shut up, shut up. I feel if like I, if I somehow... I just made a bright was totally ignored, and it's still being spoken over. Apparently. Huh? What's going on now? What? Okay, Bright, I'll make you a deal. If I somehow manage to get two Applin, I will give you an, a shiny Applin. Well, what I want, what and you can do whatever you want with it. Anyway, I was trying to talk to Bright, telling her that 
uh, I love the Pokemon she was. I love the Pokemon she she was about to fight. Although everyone spoke over me, so right. now it's happening after it was fighting. It is literally the first introvert Pokemon from the first Pokemon game. It is the ultimate leave me the hell alone. Oh, sorry. Sorry. And Penguin, your Pokemon breeding is immoral. It's. It, I never said it was moral. I said. Oh, actually, no. Technically. Yeah, yes, said, oh, you have fuck. said I... multiple times that it's not immoral, which implies that it is is either amoral or moral. <sighs> Look, I, I'm running something that might count as capitalistic, and we all know how capitalism is. Might sound like. Cap what are you going might to name Zelda? They evolve into Cloyster, which is a bigger introvert that wants people to leave them alone. Wait, what? No! You can't no! enter that name. <laughs> what what name? You, oh, I'm not on the screen. What was the name? An adult female body part. Oh, oh. come on, Bright. Grow up. Yes, no! I can add that. I can add that. <laughs> oh, what is it? Hatch it, you'll like it. That's two eighteen plus. Change it. Well, I'm not uh, actually uh, watching the stream right well, now. Well, I mean, I'm, Bright's I'm already named eggs. it the full word before. Uh. Honestly, this is just bare ba bare bones. This is bare ba basic bitch Bright over here. Oh wait, I no. To, I thought you were going to trade that. That shell, the shelter. That's why I'm kind of horrified. Sending food to some random person. Right, already did that once. Oh. Right, sent. Right, sent one that was named that, like the full word, Wait, to someone. Poopa? What's Poopa? Fatty under pelvic area. Oh. <laughs> right. What? Why? Because I can. Sharks. Oh, damn. I'll take that. I didn't even see what I got. Thanks. Thanks, Hi. game. Flamethrower. Food, would you like this? For later oh, yeah. or now? Or later? Okay. I forgot Gyarados can learn Flamethrower. Yeah. With most fish, you would ask why, but Gyarados, you kind of ask why not. Oh yeah, F Gyarados can also learn Fire Blast. It's Gyarados, why are you surprised? It was Gyarados is a bad the... bitch. Gyarados was so OP in the first game, they had to power it down because it, you could literally beat the entire game with only a Gyarados. Wait, actually, have you seen <gasps> some- uh, there was a person back. on YouTube. Huh? What? Okay. Go for just messaging chat. Jiri, there was a person on YouTube that deadass beat the entire- I think it was uh, Pokemon Red. They beat all of Pokemon Red with a single Magikarp. Oh, not even Gyarados? How did they do that? Don't worry I about it. I don't know, and I am too afraid to ask. Uh, but they did it. That crazy son of a bitch did it. Harp are already powerful enough. We don't need to be giving them that much self-confidence. Okay, I'm gonna do a timer, and I'm gonna see how uh, how long it takes to hatch five eggs with flame body. One, okay, go. No. Carper glow. Carper OP as hell. May I just say the apple dragon is a good boy, and you do not need to treat it badly. Um, um, <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, Are you blue to the uh, mountain? <laughs> unstuck. She is unstuck. That was 
is hilarious. Okay, so it takes more than 30 seconds for the first egg Note to self, Bright is easily amused. <laughs> I love I game like glitches. I mean, who doesn't love game glitches? Me. God, I hate... Okay, so it takes about 50 seconds for the first egg to hatch, and then... Okay, how... I'm, I'm just gonna keep the... I wanna see how long it takes me to go down. God, I... God, I hate pop science. What science. happened? I, I'm, like, looking at some pictures of uh, swell sharks, and I get a pop science article that's like... Female shark learns to reproduce without males after years alone. What? That's the not how it works. That, that's not that's not how a oh what's what's the name of it? Um I forget the exact term, but that's not how that works. Yeah. They don't learn to reproduce like that. They just like that's something that does exist within several shark species. Also, uh but, like, oh sorry. Uh. Are you done, Hatchet? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, apparently we're going to find something interesting. Apparently, the Terror Raid battle music where we fight the Crystal Pokemon. Uh, mm -hmm. Toby Fox was the composer. It's always oh. Toby Fox that makes the best music for the Pokemon games. I fucking love the Pokemon mu uh, game music, but Toby Fox has been producing absolute fucking bangers for like the past two generations, and I fucking love it. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't. I don't know who that is. They created Undertale. Yeah. Oh. He's also just a pretty cool dude, and like, he he was a Homestuck fan, but. Actually, All faults aside, uh, he made uh, he made Delta he and made or is making Delta for Homestuck, so he wasn't just a fan. Yeah. Calling him well, a, technically... a fan just feels inaccurate, and there's some amazing music he's made for uh, Homestuck. Wait, Hedge, do you yeah. still uh, do you actually know who he is after I said Undertale or no? Well, yeah, I know what Undertale is. Yeah, he created Undertale. Okay, so it takes about three minutes for me to hatch five eggs. It's actually interesting. I did not know that book one. Toby Fox is... He is... He is... He is... He is Toby Fox. Yeah, isn't he also the friend, a really good friends with the, um, the creator of Smash Brothers? I have no yep, idea. that's how Sans got into Smash. That's how Sans got into Smash. Is they played, I uh, the, they played a thing of uh, like a few rounds of Smash, and I think the creator of Smash was like, "Hey, if you win against me, you can have any character of yours added to Smash." And Toby Fox was like, "Okay, cool." And he won. And guess what funny skeleton is in the game of Smash Sans. Bros. Yep. Uh, also with oh, Megalovania. Okay. Oh, okay, so... Oh, it's Sakurai. I forgot uh, I forgot his name for a moment. It's Sakurai. Sakurai created Smash. Uh... So apparently I was not lied to, and the chain... Oh. The chain cat shark does bioluminesce. It's just the photo I had sent you was not a chain cat shark. It was a swell shark. Uh, Why did I hatch a lechonk from an egg? What? Why are you here? What? Oh, wait. wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wait, what did those apples get up to? <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> wait, no, I know why. I know why now. Uh, I accidentally produced one lechonk egg uh, a while back, and I guess I just put it in with my apple eggs and just forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Oh god, what did they- what- what happened? It wasn't shiny, so it doesn't really matter. Kill it then. Get some nice yeah, bacon. The only Pokemons that matter are these very specific rare genetic mutations that I'm aiming to get. <laughs> yeah. The only- just like how the only gar that matters are those, like, handfuls of albino alligator gar that people gawk over.
Hey Hatchet, I'm gonna send a video over to you. I'm a degenerate, but Dasani water Angiri. isn't that bad. I know it's bad and for Dragon. the environment, but I'm lazy. I'm very gonna be questioned for my video that I send in. Let's see. What was I gonna say this? Hello. Hello in the dark Neko Shork. Okay, now what the fuck did you send me? You'll see. Will I see? How do you know I'm not just gonna completely avoid our DMs forever? Then you'll never get see my special DMs I'll send you from time to time. I'm not playing that. Why? Because the thumbnail scares me. There's nothing wrong with the thumbnail. Uh, this is... I don't... I, I clicked on it. I don't like that I clicked on it. Oh no. It just shows you how Pokemon food is made in the Pokemon universe. In the Pokemon universe. It's just how it's Do you made. think there's a Pokemon uh, world equivalent of PETA? Yeah. Uh, we already knew there is. It's Team Plasma. No, Team Plasma doesn't euthanize innocent Pokemon. Well, yeah, they don't euthanize, but like, they're basically them. And doesn't but they don't bully the homeless? That's true. Or make women, uh, pregnant women in cages naked in the cold. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, yeah, they did, they did that. that. Who did that? Right, what did that's 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 bad, bad. Oh, Why? Peta. Why am I being so right. bad? Bad! Why? What is going on? You're Why bad! You look at the video. No, don't look at the video! You mean I the video you the already video. sent I'm, me? I'm, I'm, I think. Yeah, uh, one part of the video, it involves, uh, do you remember which uh, Pokemon Chikorita is? No. No. Well, let me show you a picture. Like, is this- right, is this the same video you sent me? Yeah. Then I've already let me seen- Let show you a picture of Chikorita without you clicking it. I mean, oh, I don't wait. think I, I know though. I think I know the video you're talking about. It's the Chikorita gets cut up and like has little, little bits pl uh, plucked off of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Chikorita is a plant-based Pokemon that is a baby. I know, I know. I know Gen 2. Uh, I'm, I'm explaining the hatchet. Okay. I get it. I'm moving on. Honestly, okay, hot take. Everyone's like, oh, Gen 9 starters look really bad. Gen 2 had really basic starter designs. Like, they're not bad. I love Gen 2's starter designs, especially, like, the final evolutions. They were incredibly basic. I have to say, I always thought Chikorita was a very- What? I like them more than their evolution, but... I oh, like the starter. Yeah. yeah, Chikorita is very adorable. Yeah. You- and what, is any- is... into, like, a flower dinosaur. Yeah. Also, is Jerry cutting out on anyone else's, like, end, yeah. or is it just a me issue again? I Tiny bit here and there for me, but nothing major. Yeah. Yeah. And both of those gems have big mouth boys. It's this bookworm. Oh yeah, Gulp. I think Gulpin. No, Gulpin was added in Gen 3, wasn't it? Maybe. Actually, wait, let me look it up. Totodile yeah, and Flay Coco. I think I'm gonna oh yeah! Me. Those are the big boys. What'd you say, Jerry? I'm basically gonna head out for the night, though this okay. has been very fun. Oh, okay. See you, Drew. Have a good night. How, how are we only an hour and a half away from being- from you going to bed? 
Don't worry about it. I don't like time. Everyone, I have a very important proposition to bring before the House Senate. No. I have a very important proposition to bring before the Senate of the United States. What's that? Abolish time. I agree. They're like, oh, we should abolish uh, time saving. No, we need to abolish time. Get rid of time as a whole. Yes, no more as time. a concept and a whole. And how you, how will you tell when it, uh, what time it, what time it is? Well, see, it, it, we won't. No, have there to won't be a time. Exist. We're how abolishing we it. When, We're getting rid of it. How will you know when a breakfast, lunch, and dinner is? We uh, don't. We because there is no breakfast time, lunch time, or dinner time. There just is food time. And it's not called food time, it's called food now. Yeah. <laughs> food now. <laughs> food now in mouth will just sound like a bunch of cavemen. Food now. It is food now time. Wait, no, not time. Food now. Food now. <laughs> food now, generals. General place in space. Oh, oh wait, fuck, we can't say space clocks, time. maybe, but how will you know when to plant or slash harvest cop crops? I almost said harvest just... cops. <laughs> Timer. <laughs> well, you see, that's... Well, no, you see, that's the thing. A lot of different cultures didn't actually have, like, means of telling, like, time of day, those sorts of things. Like, they can just look, like, figure it out based upon the general things around them. You don't need to think about the concept of time. Because we don't need the concept of time. We can get rid of it. It's unnecessary. Mm -hmm. It just makes life sadder. Yeah, like the fact I've spent a good majority of my fall break playing Pokemon. What? There's nothing bad to think about. Yeah. My god, my my starter's gonna be near a level 100 by the time I get everyone to level 55. This is why you're supposed to do the Terra raids, so you get XP shit, and then well, you get Well, the only it to Terra raids I keep getting are the one stars. They don't give shit. Actually, check how many uh, rare candies you have. Zero, I already checked. I had like seven, seventeen actually. Lucky you. How are you so unlucky? She's right. I have to kill the old fashioned way. Hey, Bookworm, can I have your luck for XP farming? I know you can give it to me. Plus, me with your power. I believe in you, Bookworm. Bless me with your almighty power of X of XP farming. Farming. Bookworm's just gonna look at me like, "What the fuck? I have no luck." Sorry. <laughs> Daru, I Give have no luck. luck Daru. Give me your luck hatchet. Nah. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, I'll give you my luck if you give me a basic uh, description of the concept of luck within Norse society. Fuck. Oh, god damn it. No, I looked this up. I have looked this up previously. I have, because I have earrings that actually represent luck. Uh, and I had to make sure it wasn't like... It, I know knew it was a Norse symbol, but I had to make, uh, look it up to make sure that no oh, yeah, Nazis had taken over it. Um, yeah. But it was a symbol of luck. And I for I looked up what like Norse luck meant, and I just completely forgot about it. No, God damn it. <laughs> you fool. Actually, I think I still have those earrings laying around somewhere. They are they're quite nice. So I like I like them. They have like a little fake uh, green yeah. gem at the bottom. I wish I oh, took a picture oh, of it, but when I was out driving today, to get gas. Um. I, I, I saw this sign, favorite sign, that said, help us support our NFT, and then there was a link under it. 
So the NFT bros can go outside. <laughs> but they, that's, oh, okay. You oh, wait, you play Pokemon text... Insurgents 2, a bookworm? Nice. You would think some would tech-savvy enough to know what a fucking NFT is, would also know that no one in the modern day and age is going to take the time to manually punch in a link. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we, I, well, I do that sometimes. And, well, actually, no. Even more so. No one in the modern day and age is going to stop their fucking car to look out the window and manually punch in the link on their phone. Because it's a fucking billboard that you're going to see for a handful of seconds at most. Not only that, actually, fun fact. Did you know it's been researched that, uh, yeah, billboards and advertisements along the street and shit uh, make people depressed. Yeah. And it doesn't work as a marketing ploy at all. It does not work. Yeah. I don't know. I think Ocean said something like that. Oh, with the Norse luck thing. Oh, let me see. No, I know. I, I have a hunch about, like, the Norse luck thing. But I it is it has just escaped me. I cannot... Ah, uh, god damn it. Yeah, that's that's definitely a part of it. Um luck to the Norse was um from what we can tell based upon the scant bits of evidence that we've been able to gather after the Christians burnt everything. Uh Yay, Christians. was <laughs> Thanks, right. Bright. Thanks for your input. <laughs> um, uh um, from what we can tell, basically, luck was a holistic way of understanding a person's capacity for well-being, both internal and external. It's commonly would have been viewed as, as Bookworm said, uh, being passed down and fostered through a relationship with the gods and through the ancestors, through reciprocity. But it could also be affected by your actions, the actions of others. Like, a whole bunch of things. Like, commonly, Norse curses were literally just trying to make someone's luck go away. I... Yeah, I, I feel like I've heard that, but I also kind of forgot about it. But yeah, that... Okay. Yeah. Which is ironic, because that's also, like, the main... If you don't know... Uh, do, do you know the origin of black cats being unlucky? As an idea? Uh, I know it has a mix of misogyny, but it also has a mix of, uh, something... The, didn't the Norse view them as lucky, but Christians hated the Norse, and they were like, no, it's unlucky now? Yeah, basically. That's actually a, a pretty good way to sum it up. But more specifically, cats are heavily associated with the goddess Freya. Yeah, because uh, she was, likes cats. Yeah, who was very well liked by, uh, hangover... Norse witch practitioners out there in a lot of the like Nordic boonies of the time after Christianization. So they basically just developed this idea that black cats were witches and that all cats were unlucky and then it eventually turned into black cats are unlucky uh, because they realized, you know, like there is or it's not quite that, but basically, yeah, like that's the origin of that myth. Also, uh, the origin of Friday the 13th uh, as being an unlucky thing, uh, that is also related to Freya. Uh, it was a day where pretty much everyone at the farms just got off and did things that were within a capacity of Freya's nature, which uh, Freya was a goddess of uh, fertility, beauty, and love, as well as death and war <laughs> uh what i'm trying to say is that they did a lot of things that i can't say right now they did a lot of things what i what i do to my apple and the ditto that i got oh god apple. no no don't <laughs> don't take a sacred love make uh, i shouldn't say that a sacred day about love between people and turn it into the whatever the fuck human you're doing. breeding pit yay shut up shut up <laughs> go to hell not the good one, not the Norse one. Go to go to Christian hell. <laughs> no, actually, one more thing there. is 
I think another thing was with ta uh, cats being tied for being unlucky is, uh, especially with the misog misogyny part, is if I remember correctly, in Norse uh, like culture and shit, they would commonly give uh, like newlywed wives cats because, or uh, I forget if it was newlyweds or like if you wanted to propose to someone, it would be a cat because cats are cool as shit and also had a tie with Freya. I don't know that one specifically but it it tracks and like ultimately like the the major things that led up to the christians over the top hatred of cats were associated with primarily female witches out in the boonies so it does track and a uh, fun fact there was a couple of popes who just straight up started to do a genocide of cats like like between the 12 and 1300s they were just like you know what all these Damn cats! All all these damn cats—they're evil. We're gonna get rid of them, every one of them. They're isn't that they're Satan in another form? Didn't isn't that why? Isn't that like one of the effects that caused the Black yeah. Plague? Is because they there yeah. were no cats to eat rats, and thus rats became overpopulated. Exactly. And, uh, you know, they they literally go. We hate these cats. We're killing all these cats. You see these cats? We hate them. Well, there's a lot of rats around, aren't there? Oh, Why are this? there spots on my skin? Why do <laughs> Why? I feel like I'm dying? Oh god! Father! Father! Mr. Pope! Why is my skin turning black? No, that sounds uh, really bad! <laughs> Well, I mean, that's why it was called the Black Death. It literally caused, oh, like, yeah. lesions that would change the skin color black. True, true. Like, it was so... literally, like, splotches of necrosis. Yeah. Um, so, okay, so here's the thing. Uh, she started streaming, so I went in there and said hi. They asked how Subathon going. Not to say anything, so I said, good, still going, and fine with the orphans. Yeah, okay. That tracks. <laughs> I have to resort to my old faithful image editing software. Also known as... Uh, Microsoft Paint. <laughs> I have hatched 30... 40 eggs. Okay, 90 eggs, actually. I have hatched 90 eggs so far. 90 apples are going to be released into the wild. You know what or, the best well, kind of meat is, Hatchet? What? I, I I saw from the cartoon. There's one meat that's the best kind of that is that is the best kind of meat, and it's orphan meat. You really need to just stop talking. It make it can you can make it into an orphan meat dragon. Just just cease. <laughs> I don't feel very safe. <laughs> no one should feel safe when when bright's around. Good point. Bright probably shouldn't feel safe when Bright's around. Good point. Bright probably doesn't feel safe when Bright's around. Bright, do you feel safe right now? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, oh. Oh, you downloaded because I you saw me play it, Bookworm? Yeah, it's real fun. And you can choose your own mode and choose what type of story. If, if you want the dark or... Pussy version. <laughs> <laughs> I chose what? the uh, Pokemon Insurgents. Either do you want to do the regular, uh, regular story of no cults or story of cults? I chose cults. Long live cults. Yes. Not. Cults bad. It gets it gets pretty dark. Yeah, I picked the dark version. <laughs> Me and Bookworm picked the same yeah, version. All, all, basically, all of this conversation was to say, uh, there's a long history of Christians, like surrounding the middle e medieval ages doing really fucking weird things that ultimately killed more people than they helped yeah. because they helped no one <laughs> the only which thing is not is, surprising in the least there's only one part of christian history you shouldn't talk to the child and that's the irish catholics <laughs> and we know why if you're talking about the uh, SA situation, that's not the first thing I think of. Oh no, I'm talking about where they kidnapped four people's children and did whatever they wanted with them. 
Okay, yeah, then yeah, that is, yeah. Yeah, you didn't know that. <laughs> they did that. That's actually... no, I, no, yeah. I know that. Like, I know about it. It's just also one of the things I don't like to think about because it's like yeah. abnormally fucked up. Like, even for like the history of Christian colonization of places, like it's yeah. abnormally fucked up. And or I should say, like early Christian colonization. That ba ba like that's basically just the same shit that happened in Canada with oh, the yeah. First Nations, like quote unquote kill kill the quote unquote Indian save the man bullshit. Mm -hmm. Still don't understand why Canada thought that they were better with indigenous people than the United States. Like we come from the same fucking roots. We did the same shit. Well no You're just better at hiding it. No, actually, that's the thing. They, uh, the reason, like, there is a genuine nugget of truth as to why they were better with indigenous people than the United States. Because the United States folks, basically, instead of doing eugenics, just outright killed the vast majority of natives. Hmm. Like, what, what people here did was just put a gun to their heads and fire. What the Canadians did was put a gun to their heads and then force them to pick up a Bible. Actually, no, okay, you know what I fucking hate is people that are like, oh, the reason that the Europeans were so much better than the indigenous people is because we were more advanced. They had guns, yes. They were not more advanced for the landscape. They were not prepared, they had no idea what the fuck the landscape was, they wore really heavy clothing for a climate that did not need heavy clothing. And the only reason that they got as far as they got is because of the fact that they brought disease. And they would use biological yeah. fucking bio-warfare against people that were not prepared for such disease and such uncleanliness. That's well, why it's to be banned. Well, to be clear, um, at the very least in the case of the smallpox blankets, there's mm -hmm. basically only one historical point of reference that we have that, like, confirms that it happened. Granted, I don't know much about, like, other sources than that. Basically, we have an invoice where, like, a particular, I think, I think it was French battalion commander basically just asked their, uh, their infirmary to give him, like, a handful of smallpox blankets to hand out to the natives but like you are ultimately right like like if i remember correctly approximately uh oh i think the estimates were between 70 and 90 percent of natives that existed here pre-contact ended up fucking dead as a result of stuff like smallpox yeah. Uh, it's it's just like while while uh, colonizers using bioterrorism, well not bio biological warfare that's the term that did happen. It just seems like it was extremely sparse, and for the most part, they were just spreading diseases that the natives' bodies couldn't handle, mm -hmm. like just by coming there. Yeah, there's actually one thing that I found fucked up when I was uh, learning about indigenous people history, history in school mm. was when uh, with the Aztecs when the Spanish came over they actually thought it was their god coming and then they were mm. massacred or enslaved yeah <laughs> that was really yeah. fucked up they they yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking uh <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Colonizers were like the ultimate invasive species. You're not <laughs> yeah. wrong. No, no, not only that. Not only they were colonizers themselves were invasive species, but they also brought invasive species, well, which also it's, again yeah. fucked over a lot of areas. At the same time, I think it's important to understand that it's less that they were invasive species and more that they were invasive. invading people. Yeah, like they in, literally species. invasive. They were they, just they invasive. Were the, they were the same species, but yeah, they did bring over a shit ton of, of invasive species. Like, when we actually get down to it, all humans were invasive species at some point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, even the natives would have been invasive species at a time. And ultimately, early 
early settlers in the Americas are the primary reason why a lot of really cool Ice Age animals are extinct. Yeah. Like the ground sloths and mastodons. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, this is obviously not to say that they... That, that 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 those damn engines deserved it. Wait, I think that's a slur. I shouldn't say that. I just realized. But... Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Sorry. I did it on the stream. I, I, don't, I don't know I if it's a slur one. or just a derogatory it's... term in the co in specific context. Because it is used yeah. in certain bills. Uh, it is used in certain bills, so it is. It it depends on the context. Yeah. And I'm, also, I'm, it's also it, like it, an actual way... race of people are Indians, and then there's native people. Which, no, yeah, as a child, basically. because that when I was growing up, they would also ca always call native people that. And I, growing up, I was like, wait, how the fuck? That does not make any sense. That is, that is, that makes no sense. Just, just there's just, people from India that are actually anyway. Indians. Why the listen, fuck would you call native people that? That listen, they're not from I'm India. I'm just trying to say something. Listen, listen. Mm -hmm. You can't, can't talk about that. We don't want to discredit Columbus, okay? No, fuck the him. No, 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 no. <laughs> I no, know no, I'm no. joking. No, no, no. Listen, listen. The thing is, you know the people that started the Spanish Inquisition? Those people? Yeah? You, the yeah. queen and king? Yeah? They thought the shit that Columbus did was so fucked up. They literally stripped him of his rank. They stripped him of fucking everything. They thought what he did was fucking disgusting. Yeah. The you when know, you know when the people that started the Spanish fucking Inquisition thought that you were fucking evil, you fucked up. Yeah, were... like, oh uh, yeah, that's one thing that I commonly forget about because, uh, oh, I'm surrounded by conservative dipshits out here. Yeah, yeah. The, like, that that is a very good way to sum it up. Columbus was such a absolute monster that the people who actively uh, thought out the elimination of Jews and Muslims in a, like, witch hunt style persecution thought that he was fucked up. Like, something, like, that. that's just, like, a new level of what the fuck. And the thing is, no one ever teaches about it, and it's, like, it's a very, like, obvious thing. You don't even have to look that hard for it. And it's, yeah. like... The American I mean, education system it. is still whitewashed. So yeah, no. whitewashed. It, it literally is, because I literally got in an argument with my history teacher saying, yeah, did, the Europeans didn't have that much of an advantage over the native people. They were just really fucking diseased. And oh. she was like, that's wrong. They had guns. And I'm like, you mean the slow ass things that took forever to reload compared to a bow and arrow, which didn't? You mean yeah, that? They, they were... Uh, ultimately, the biggest thing that helped uh, the invaders in that case was actually their armor, but it was still heavily impractical depending on where you were on the continent. Especially in Florida, which yeah, oh, the Spaniards God. didn't understand apparently. I I'll still always my I still like my favorite joke that I told to my history teacher that she cracked up at. Mm -hmm. was, I think I've told it here before, that it's really ironic when they first got here, the Spaniards looked for the Fountain of Youth in Florida. Mm -hmm. Now it's where all our old people go to die. Yeah. yeah. Also, or get thing. STDs. Yeah. There's one thing I want to say about Christopher Columbus. When I was 10 years old, uh, I only liked reading, like, m manga and cartoon books. Mm-hmm. So, I thought I saw this book for Christopher Columbus, it, it, Adventures. I was like, okay, so this is probably just some childish thing. No, it showed oh, no. everything in grand detail. What? Oh no! Every little thing, every illustration done. Uh, okay, look, th this is fucked up because we got a traumatized Bright, but I think that was going to be inevitable anyway. Uh, uh, but besides that, at the very least, that experience obviously uh, kind of inoculated you. 
ironically enough, while we're talking about diseases, it seems to have also kind of inoculated you to some of the whitewashing bullshit. Yeah, it was also that uh, American education system does. Yeah, it was also how I learned uh, how babies were made. Oh God! Oh, God. oh no. no! Yeah, they oh, showed no. that too. They showed that, that should, too. That should not be your sex ed class. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I sex said, they education. showed everything. Oh. Sex education with Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. No, don't let him near the manatee. What is he doing to the manatee? No! Yeah, I still can't believe those stupid fucks thought the manatee was a fucking mermaid. I... What <laughs> was supposed my sex ed teacher says book <laughs> <laughs> My yeah, sex you know ed teacher was a librarian. You know what? Actually, actually, you know what? Let's be fair. Mm -hmm. Let's be fair. Maybe this is why conservatives are so scared of sex ed. Because <laughs> they got sex ed from Columbus. And they don't want their kids going through this. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to, they don't, don't want to, they don't want their kids to know what, what Columbus wanted to do to the manatee. <laughs> oh no, I saw a picture of that too. Oh god. Wait. Wait, back up. Did Columbus actually? I don't know if he actually did, but I saw a picture of it. I'm actually fighting yeah, my mom. I think Sorry. I think it might have been hepatitis. It's a it's one of the STIs that has an H in it. Uh but that was because someone did it with a llama. So that's fun. I mean, I wouldn't okay. doubt it. My mom yelling at me that I'm being too loud. Uh, because I'm laughing my ass off. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't doubt that he did it with a manatee. I mean, yeah. Okay. yeah. I seriously do not understand how those guys looked at that goddamn gray blob. That adorable gray blob and were like, yeah, I'm gonna fuck this because it looks like a hot... Dragon! Movie. Okay, yeah, we should probably steer away from this conversation at this point. Oh, God. Colonizers are stupid as fuck. Uh. <laughs> or were stupid as fuck because they are all... Well, mm, no, there are still people that peddle colonistic ide ideology. But uh, the motherfuckers we're talking about are all dead, thankfully. Yeah. So... Because man, it's like mini mouse. Chest stick. It says book I, book. Thought, I thought it was a really good little bit um that ocean kelp toy said during a conversation kind of generally talking about uh how biases can affect narratives and perspectives mm -hmm. and kind of like for instance bringing up the fact that as much as like anti-theists and like like guys who are obsessed with science want to act like science does not have any bias it does science, science the, has biases yeah the I mean, the process doesn't have biases. Like, the process is very good at, at, generally speaking, weeding out a lot of the biases that arise within humans, because obvious, uh, obvious humans are going to be biased. Mm -hmm. But what gets studied, what actually gets funding, that's a bias. bias. Yeah, like, yeah. like, people aren't, like, our government isn't shoving funds into just every scientific project that might expand human knowledge even if like ultimately i think that that would actually be a pretty decent thing mm -hmm. like like for instance like a good example of this is paleontology almost completely privately funded there's almost no uh subsidies going into that field because it's not a very practical field to helping people in the modern day. But you know what it is practical for? Learning about these crazy ass fucking reptiles that used to live here. Hell yeah. And another example that Ocean brought up is um, one of the ways that uh, this affected coloni colonizers is because... Um, from their perspective, like from their perspective, the ways that natives treated a lot of things like farming, they viewed as inferior and inefficient, because from their perspective, 
one that was entirely focused on trying to figure out how much of a crop we have. Having these like little backyard gardens with a little bit of everything in the same area is it seems unproductive. But these people weren't trying to make a profit off of their crops. They were subsistence farmers. And for subsistence farmers, having every little thing that you want that you might want in a dish in just one little patch is significantly more effective than having a whole ass wheat field when you might want corn. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, patch it. I yeah. decided to look up the Christopher Columbus manatee thing. It's 50 50. Uh. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> um, I'm it... kind of terrified the fact that it's 50 50. Chris. Like, some people are saying he 50 -50. did. Some people are saying he did. Some people are saying they just found it. So, it's 50 50. I'm just pretty sure either way, he still found manatees to be like mermaids, and thus he found them attractive. Which is, they are gray little blob boys that float in the ocean and eat dirt. Not dirt, grass. Sea grass, but like... Then that means they're little blob wife, boys. That means his wife must be one hell of a cow. That is so mean! <laughs> oh. Oh. Shame on you. <laughs> Sorry. Actually, how many people here know what a manatee looks like? Like, has looked at a manatee I've recently? I've seen a manatee. I've seen one in real life. <laughs> I've got a www.quora.com link, and the question is, did Christopher Columbus personally have certain relations with a manatee? I don't know why. They're so gray and they're so snobby, and it's like, why would you do that to them? It's okay. Okay, we have one article that's just so um the S word with mermaids. What does how does that work? That is a good question. That yeah, that actually is like an interesting question because like do they just like if they function like fish Do they like and, eggs? Oh god. Yeah, like unless they're sharks, they they would probably be laying eggs. Oh god, that ha that lends to some terrifying things about Ariel. Oh god. Oh, and the fact god. that she she canonically has a child. One. So I'm guessing more of like a shark life birth. Because she has one mm. child? Yeah, if she so had means... Yeah, then Unless unless that uh. prince motherfucker only fertilized one egg somehow. Oh, Let's just I don't want... Oh god, Let's this stop. is terrifying. You know what? I don't want to imagine my I don't want my childhood to be ruined. Uh that's No, everyone slanders uh Ariel too, and I do get why for like a story perspective, but honestly it was really fun. Like it was a fun movie ignoring or Ariel oh. one. Are they gonna like do a live action of it? Yeah. I have it's seen like... pictures and they look terrifying. Yep. No, there's a whole bunch of conservatives freaking out because they made Ariel black. Even Not though they only... Like, like, slightly browner. And the thing is, they only decided who to play Ariel because the fact that the actress had an amazing singing voice. They didn't really give a fuck. They just wanted someone that could sing, and the actress could sing. And honestly, honestly, she looks... She, she, she works as Ariel. <laughs> she could sing? That's cool. And it was never declared in like the written story that Ariel was white. No, of course. She was green wasn't. originally. Yeah, like in the earliest versions, she would have been green. Yeah. And also, then, originally, the story was about a, a a a gay dude longing for a gay lover, but it didn't work, and so he was sad, and so he wrote Ariel. And the original story of Ariel was actually really fucking depressing. Yeah. Besides so that, that, um. Yeah. Along with that, uh, the the thing that I tend to point out to people is, from what we can tell, the origin of mermaid myths is from the Mediterranean, where people were pretty fucking brown. Yeah. Yeah. Not only that, she's a fish. Fish go yeah. everywhere. She is an ocean fish. Fish in the ocean go everywhere. The yeah, ocean hell. connects everything. Yeah, like hell. If we're going to like talk like anatomically accurate mermaids 
like if we're talking like you know basing it on uh other marine mammals oh. uh but well, one she'd probably be thick as fuck what mm. shit like she, it, literally they, like, it's literally the case like they she would have pro like mermaids would almost certainly have a thick layer of blubber Especially if they're like, especially as you get further up into the Arctic, um, they probably would have a decent handful of adaptations that look very disturbing to us, such as more distorted faces for seeing underwater better and more keen ears and smell to handle sensing stuff underwater. Welcome to cute. Cute. <laughs> That's actually something I, I, I will mention. I really appreciate it when you have, like, uh, I can't talk about media that actually depicts mermaids to be more chubby. To be mermaids, yes. Oh, I yeah. love chubby mermaids. Oh, Hatchet, I think there's something that you, I think you'll like that I think I'll read whenever Child's not present on four story streams. Uh, mm -hmm. I got a book. That I found while well, still looking for book 10. I still haven't found it. Looking for. Uh, yeah. I'll look after when it's several times over. But uh, basically, uh, I found a book that contains as close as possible to an original Grimm stories. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, that'll be interesting. I haven't read all of them in a long while and it's like pretty thick Rump book like it's really big <laughs> oh yeah they they're, they're pretty thick like like most of them are fairly uh sort of kind of in the modern day kid friendly up until like a handful of moments sleeping right. beauty in particular is like probably the worst one i know of oh yeah sleeping beauty is one. oh god it's so fucked yeah, I remember um, reading it when I was 11. Uh, have I mentioned Rumpelstiltskin, like, the actual oh, way that it plays out? yes. I was like, he gets split in half. Yeah, like, it's it's literally exactly how you remember Rumpelstiltskin, mm -hmm. except at the end, it's it's either he, st like, he stomps so hard that he falls, like, halfway through the floor and gets bisected, or he literally rips himself in half out of frustration. It's one of those two. I, I can't yeah, remember he which. Totally lives. I'm pretty sure it's, he stomps on the ground so hard he he splits himself in half. Yeah. He totally that's lives. That's the only one I've heard of. He's just no, I. Half. No, no, he's. I guess you could say he's half no. a man. <laughs> I mean, I already would. Oh God, now he he was already a really short dude. Now he's like half of a short dude. No one's gonna want to be his friend. <laughs> he's a third of a man. Oh God! Wouldn't that be a quarter? No, that would be a quarter. Yeah, yeah that, that would be a quarter. Come oh, on, yeah, dude. A quarter, man. God damn it! It's like midnight. Okay, get, get, cut, cut me some. There's play. just two of him no. now. Yeah, there's just two <laughs> That's of them. He's been cloned. <laughs> one's named Rumple, and the other named Skin. And the other name is Skin. <laughs> no, one's named Rumple, and the other names, and the other one's named. <laughs> Because Rumple got all of the side of the brain that processes speech. <laughs> I like to imagine that they move around like Ekans does. Oh god. <laughs> it's just <laughs> blither about. Okay, so that leaves a question. Do they slither on their hut up raw side or on their skin? Because both of those are awful. The raw side, at least. It's like it's like a snail. It, 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 it leaves yeah. a trail of goop. It's a snail trail of blood and viscera. <laughs> Either that, or they they slither around, and you can see everything inside them. Oh God. There's no good options here. I think I'll go with the latter, so that the janitor doesn't have as much work to do. No, no, I no, 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 no. You see, he after he split himself in half. The side that can process speech and process the things going on around him decided to marry some a, marry a janitor, and the janitor just goes behind him every day and just cleans up the mess that he makes, and they are in love. This is an awful story. <laughs> this hurts my brain. 
You're talking to someone right who back. writes fan fiction. Of course I'm gonna turn a fucking situation it. into something cutesy and romantic. God damn it, where is my green apple boy? I want my green apple boy. Give me my green apple boy. One please. named Rumple, other named Skin, and both walk on stilts. <laughs> Okay, I support that. I support that. That's a very that's a that's that's an ab that's a very green good boy, one. I like boy, that. Green boy, chant green boy for me. Green boy, green boy, green boy, green boy, green boy, green boy. God damn it, hey, where's the chanting? Bright. Hey bright. God damn it. Why do I feel like I'm gonna be muted? Hello? Hello? Oh. Yeah. Um, I, don't I don't have my headphones. I lost my headphones. I can't hear you. What a fucking idiot. Fuck. Headphones! Please! Hey, right. We're Stop. mocking you. <laughs> I can't hear a word you're saying. We're mocking you, Bright. Wait, she knows when Stop we're talking. Stop getting caught on everything, you piece of shit. Yeah. Okay, I can hear you now. We, we weren't mocking you. Nice. We, yeah, we said really nice things to you. Yeah, we, we were like complimenting you to the high heavens. Okay, yeah. so I decided to try and get that book, but I think one of my, uh, my parents are borrowing it from them. However, I do have a book that's called Jeffrey Archer, The Collected Short Stories. And it's just oh. a, a bunch of stories, a, a bunch of horror stories that have been collected. That are old. Like, this book is really old. I, uh, I see. Alright, so, give me, give me another shark to look up. <laughs> uh, oh, I see a, I, de I see some stories that can't be right just shark, by their names. Lava shark, lava shark. A lava shark? What the fuck's it's a lava not... shark? Look it up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a thing. I, I'm not fucking with you. I am pretty sure it is a thing. Bookworm I start, an outage, you guys, That is by not the way. a thing. It's not? Okay, the thing no, there that are you're sharks probably... that live near, like, uh, under, yeah. like, underwater... Shark boy and yeah, lava girl. <laughs> yeah, there is, like, I think one specific, like, submer submarine... Submerged volcano, where, like, when it's not in the middle of erupting, a whole bunch of fish live inside of it. But most of those fish are other recognized species. There's no specific species that we've observed there. And? As far as I know. So, something else. Bright, give, how about you give me a shark? Thresher shark. They haven't added a thresher! What the fuck is wrong with me? You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> I only know that shark because you say it all in Cars Against Humanity. <laughs> they they are my favorite shark. They're so fucking cool. <laughs> That's the only way I remember. <laughs> that and they're so derpy looking. <laughs> like the they're cool like they both they have two things that I love. They have a cool adaptation and from the right angle they look so fucking derpy. Like well, everyone at a certain angle looks uh, really derpy. So now I just realized true. I don't have to go on Crypt Kostowiki and search for stories after I, read, after I read mine. I literally have two books I can just r pick up story from. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't even worry. Yeah. Which is one, which is the Grim stories, which is. Yeah, that's something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd like to. Let me see if I can find a good image of what I'm thinking. Like, uh, child thresher sharks, if you don't know, just straight up have, like, the colon, uh, like, the capital D colon face. Like, oh. the, like, like, the sad face. But they also have a tail that is, uh, like, two-thirds of their entire body length. And they use it like a whip to stun fish. They will swim super fast and then whip fish with their tails and then eat the fish while they're knocked out. 
Yeah, oh. there's the boy. Yeah, there's one thing <laughs> I want to remember about the that I remember about Grim Fairy Tales. I do know, know this parent who said, "Oh, it's a good idea to tell the original stories to <laughs> your five-year-old child." You do, you oh. lady. You have not read the original stories. No, you so it's okay to tell the original stories to me, who is not five years old. No. Yeah, th there are some that are iffy. Like, mo like a decent handful of them are like just like weird, sudden moments of really fucked up old timey logic and gore. Like, actually, come to think of it, like the most fucked up thing in my mind of Ruppled Stiltskin is the fact that it's like based upon old timey logic, where a woman's entire value was the children that they she could have. Mm -hmm. Like, that's fucked up. And then it's just like out of nowhere, here comes Rumpel Stiltskin ripped in half. Yeah, but <laughs> like the 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 fucking Sleeping Beauty. Oh yeah. Uh, I guess I guess that's the thing. Like we could tell them while the child's here, because they don't actually go into detail on the eighteen plus bits. Mm-hmm. It's just made very clear by context. So, uh, here, let me put it this way. Uh, content warning to literally, potentially anybody who has triggers surrounding SA. Uh, child, you know how, you know how Sleeping Beauty, like she's, she's the beauty and she's sleeping, right? You have many children in our sleep, I know. Yeah, that. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure mm -hmm. if you knew. I, I know. Okay. Doesn't doesn't he die at the end? I forget. Or I, do... I don't remember. It's been so long ago, and honestly, partially, I've just blocked out the memory. Why is there a scantily clad woman on a motorcycle on Pinterest when I searched for thresher sharks? <laughs> I don't what? want hot women. I want sharks. I don't need woman. I want shark. Someone please turn that into a quote, please. Actually, I feel like that is a quote, but it's like something about fish and not women. Uh, not women. God damn it, sharks. Instead of sharks, it's fish. You know what? I'll I'll go do that for myself. Yeah. I need someone to turn that into a t-shirt. <laughs> I don't need women. All I need is shark. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing how... Um, like, Coco was the best starter to choose... But statistically, yeah. because like mine's already at 74. 74. Well, that's definitely partially thanks to that. Just. Uh, that's probably partially just. Uh, um, thanks to. Um, God, my brain fucking hurts. We can tell. What were we talking? Oh yeah, that's probably just due to the way that you were leveling him up. Mm -hmm. Like you were like using, like had him in your party more than any other Pokemon. Wait, what about a bright merch idea? What do you mean? The What's shark quote should be in, in bright merch. Yeah, I don't need women. I only need shark. How would it have anything to do with me or my character? Okay, here's Punch, here's a, a shark punching organization. Okay, here's the real here's real talk. If I ever split off and make my own YouTube channel and get big, I will make that shirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, or so... I could steal the idea, be like Elon Musk, and make my own merch and make millions. And then I out you on. Well, I was gonna say Twitter, but that won't work for long. <laughs> Tumblr, probably. And then you'll out me on Facebook, which I don't oh, uh, know. Oh, well, it says tell Chew to stream now. We gotta change that to tell Hatchet to stream. No. Yes. Actually, wait a minute. Uh, Booker, can you entertain the chat real quick? What? I wouldn't even stream. My main I. Uh. Like, I wouldn't even stream. My main idea is, like, primarily focusing on video essays on YouTube. Okay. I do. Toaster. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. 
toaster. I am a toaster. Woman. I need shark. Need shark. Okay, well, ninety-six apples done. Actually, over ninety-six, almost in the one hundreds by now. All right, so and it should be changed no now. Let's see if it was changed. <laughs> it's changed. I changed the chew thing. Yeah, I saw. A Dern is probably going to be confused as hell the second they see that. They're going to be like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, like, I really have no interest in running my own stream. Because I'm not confident I could effectively do it, like, with my computer. Uh, but, like, I have, like, played around with the thoughts, thought of, like, making a video essay YouTube. It generally just talks about, like, little dumbass things that I'm thinking about, philosophy, uh, media analysis... Oh, Bunch it? of bullshit. No, Hatchet, if you actually start to do, like, horror story videos, I'm all for for furry to do uh, horror monst uh, monster voices or stuff like that. Because you know I'm good at that. Okay. I'm, I'm, a, I'm all for it. <laughs> Alright. I highly doubt that I would, though. Yeah, if it's only if you do. Because... Confused, but I think they agree. What are you... What? Uh, when I said Adorno will be confused about, oh. <laughs> about the YouTube channel. <laughs> you know the second they see that, they're probably going to start bullying you into doing it. Whatever. <laughs> they did it with you. They're probably going to do it with you. As your butt buddy, I, I will me. warn you. <laughs> What'd you say? I said, as your butt buddy, I will warn you. Again, you cut out. I, as your butt buddy, I will warn you. Fuck you, Discord. Uh, I hate Discord. We can tell. Well, Discord hates you too. That much is obvious. <laughs> oh, wow, you pick up my laughter perfectly. Perfectly, but not my voice. <clears throat> Fuck you. <laughs> Have you ever thought that maybe they think your voice is background sound? Most likely. Which is really funny. Maybe they'll hear me better if I speak like this. Oh, Jesus This is Christ. awful. Get away from the mic now, you fucking plebeian. <laughs> you fucking... I moved, I, moved my, I moved my mic a bit closer. Can I still be heard? Yeah, that sounds a bit better. Okay. Are you a bureaucrat? Bureaucrat? Are you a burrow cat? A burrow cat? Are we gonna affordably cat girl bright? I do have a cat ears and a cat tail, we'll say it that. Oh god, bright, just stop bringing that up. <laughs> stop, cease. Do I want to know what the cat tail is? No. Uh, think, think about memes relating to tails. <laughs> Bookworm, oh. Oh. Um, oh. oh. <laughs> it's a <Yeah>. bookworm. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I didn't buy it. Yeah, that are, yeah. Things, like, things that have to do with tails that are 18 plus. I did not It'll buy it, it though. Out. Yeah, what was it that someone just randomly sent it to you in the mail? Yeah. So weird. <laughs> they just wanted their own cat girl. <laughs> Sometimes I wake up in the morning and think, I wish I didn't wake up in the morning. 
Yeah, there was actually something else that I didn't take. I dumped them. But, um, there was, uh, the package the next day. That was from, I assume, the same person. But it was just a box that had a bottle of unregulated F FDA not not approved, um, breast enhancement pill, uh, breast pills. We'll put it at that. That was supposed to make them bigger. Un yeah, I'm not. I'm not taking random pills in the mail. I'm. I'm starting to think this person thought they were sending this to someone else. Yeah. I think they put the wrong address. Yeah, this sounds like a terrible. Gives weird chaser vibes. Yeah. Yeah. Chasers are the worst fucking people known to man. Well, Nazis exist, but it's just, they, but but those those two things also have a scary amount of overlap. So, uh, what's a chaser? Let's you, say that you mean chaser. What? Chaser um, is someone who specifically fetishizes transness and trans oh. people and chases after relationships with trans people specifically thanks to that fetishization. And they're specifically not trans themselves. Yeah, oh. specifically they're not trans. Like, they, they, it's it's the cis dudes that are obsessed with trying to get with a trans girl. I've seen ma um, manga like that. I'm not going to say the actual... I'm not going to say the actual word. Well. Well. I mean, body. Yeah, I mean, well. <laughs> <laughs> you can't deny it. That does exist. <laughs> Body swap is an interesting genre of just anime in general. Oh, I wasn't thinking of body swap. Yeah. Well, Camp the right I mean... wasn't thinking of it either, but it's where my brain went. Or I should say gender swap. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Uh, Campfer is one of them. Oh, is it? It's a bracelet that literally turns a man to a woman. I would think that oh, would yeah. be gender swap. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember these things. I don't remember animes that I don't watch. Yeah. At the very least, very well. There's actually one thing I'm glad. Hold on. I gotta go get the name for it because I forgot its name. I gotta go to Funimation, wherever I put the fu fucking Funimation app. There it is. I have nothing organized on my damn phone. I really should organize it. Uh, uh, oh, as all yeah. things should be, like Bright does everything, misorganized. Anyway, there's this there's this anime that that I apparently found out that is on Funimation, and I'm glad it is. Because I remember seeing it on a... Well, let's just say you don't pay to see the an English dub website. Oh. Yeah, uh, it was Pony Pony Dash, and I found it extremely hilarious. Oh, I know that one. Pony Pony Dash. Never it heard is, of it. It is is like you're taking a drug trip, but it is hilarious as hell. <laughs> Isn't is, aren't they like uh, high school like yeah. horse girls? Yeah. Yeah. And wait, no. Oh. What? No, not the horse girl. What the fuck are you talking about? Or centaurs. Centaurs. No. Well, I have oh. seen I have seen like an anime along, along those lines that I've been meaning to watch. Hold on, I'll I'll get a trailer. <laughs> Obviously, neither of you know what I'm talking about. I doubt you'll know what I'm talking about because this is an old anime. Yeah, the anime I'm thinking about probably came out, like, one of the seasons two years ago. I would like to say, while y'all are discussing this, I, on the uh, grass-type gym town, I am releasing a fuck ton of Applin. Oh, dear like, God. <laughs> like, 90 this... Applin at once. Is this what you, is this what you were intended? Were you intending to, like, breed this endemic species to, okay. to the point of it almost becoming an invasive species? 
It's actually oh. what happened to Lapras. Lapras was a rare Pokemon, but it got bred so much uh, and released so much into the wild canonically uh, that it became like it, it wasn't endangered anymore. Now it's just probably incredibly inbred. Well, yeah, it's like a cheetah situation. Yeah. Let's send you or both cheetahs. a picture or a and the situation. video itself yeah. of of a trailer, not the actual anime, because that would be bad if I did that. I could get in trouble, and I'm not doing that. Oh yeah, Penguin, did you see the picture of a Thresher Shark I sent you? Uh, fuck, I didn't check, one moment. I I'm just releasing all my apples, I'm causing an epidemic. I, I really like the anime- Apple-demic. It <laughs> mainly because it constantly breaks the fourth wall in some episodes. Oh, okay. It's- is meant to be weird as hell, Aww, but super hilarious. It- Yeah. Yeah. It is... Oh, that is not the one I was thinking of. Yeah, I could tell. Yeah. Okay, uh... Thresher Shark has been created. I'm, I want to do at least one more card before oh, you know stream what? I'll ends. Send it to, I'll send it to Bookworm, too. I'm not, an ending, I'm not ending stream, what the hell are you talking about? Or you know what I mean, uh, when you get off. <laughs> God damn it. I'm gonna end up saying that every single time. You know what I mean. No. So I need one more shark. No. Fuck you. Child? Chokehold <laughs> shark. Ch um, I guess I'll look up to see if that exists, but I Types doubt it. Types of sharks. Oh, that's cheating. <laughs> You did this again. <laughs> it's uh, the exact same thing. Uh, it's just, okay. So when I searched silky shark, shark, silky shark, silky shark. Oh, those are boring. But okay. Horn shark, horn shark. <laughs> okay, I can go with horn shark. Didn't you already do that? Horn one? sharks are cool. No, no, no. I was just mentioning them because they're uh, a type of carpet shark. Ah. Shark. Horn sharks are actually really cute. They kind of have like this really grumpy looking face with like a like really distinct eyebrow ridge or eye ridges. Yeah. I don't want to be on vibrate. I want it to be on. Or no, they're not. What am I thinking? They ain't carpet sharks. They're bullhead sharks. So, oh man, almost all of the sharks in this family are really fucking cute. Now I want to add more than just a horned shark. My god. Yeah, he's... Oh, what the fuck? What? What the fuck is going on? Ooh. Oh, Bob Lanks. Oh, come on. What? Fucking name. You don't like oh, the Pokemon. Right, what were you going oh, come on to? Nothing. Okay, then. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I'm gonna save Horn Shark for tomorrow. I have, like, three Wikipedia links open because, like, like, there are two, three different genuses of sharks that I think are all really cute and I'll probably do the same thing as I did with uh um cat sharks and just kind of like pick a sampling of my favorites out of it so I think instead of that I'll just stop asking for your suggestions and just do a tiger shark <laughs> Okay, so I'm on my last egg for the night for a shiny Athlin. Uh, do you think it's gonna be shiny or no? No. No? No. No. 
I think there is there is a chance because technically I've, I'm already a hundred more than a hundred in like a hundred thirty ish in. So it there is it's 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 very possible. But it's also the last egg of the night, so I have a lead out. But maybe my apple boy will not disappoint me, like my I am to my parent or birth Damn. giver, I guess. It, it's well, not a shiny. God damn it! Also, no I'd green say, boy. I decided to save the breadsticks that came with the pizza for tomorrow. That way, I have two meals tomorrow. Mm. One for breakfast and one for dinner. I'll skip lunch again. <laughs> Yay, capitalism! You know what? I'll keep this apple. Capitalism is hell. I think it should be broken up and not exist anymore. But broken up slowly that so the world doesn't fucking collapse because it's been so used to capitalism beating its ass that it's just become dependent on it and if it just got rid of it in a millisecond it would just collapse yeah. the world. Yeah, that's true, but at least it's two meals. Mm. Pizza good. Yeah, it was Papa John's pizza. I will say it did taste different now than it did when I was younger. They've changed the recipe. Yeah, I, I, I could notice. I could definitely notice. I mean, it was still good. I still ate it. I ate all of it, but like, still, I can very well t notice it was changed. Oh, there's a sickle fin lemon shark. Based. Communist shark? A commie shark. <laughs> Aw, blue sharks are all on their own in a genus. That makes me sad. There's a milk shark? <laughs> Can you milk it? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You made an apple I, I guess the males when it's the right time. Oh my god. Brazilian sharp nose. I want Is it a mommy? <laughs> I don't think it's that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Mommy oh. milkers. No. No. Stop. This is bad. Go to your room. Cease. Cease. And desist. Desist. Oh. Okay, so tiger. Uh, tiger sharks are also on their own in their own genus. Well, get them some uh, panthers sharks. And puma sharks. And cheetah sharks. It's not how this works, Bright. <laughs> Go to your I don't room. Know, I don't think Bright knows how anything works. Lion sharks. It's no, stop. <laughs> stop. Stop proposing fictional sharks. <laughs> how do you know a lion shark doesn't exist? Okay, I think let me... it might actually exist. Lion shark. It's, it's literally a meme. Aww. Lion sharks are fearsome aquatic creatures renowned for the difficult, invo difficult involved in catching them. To catch a large lion shark is the mark of an experienced fisherman. They mostly inhabit the sea around El Nido Trigo. And what follows it is a poorly photoshopped uh, image of what looks to be a shark with fur on it. <laughs> That's literally the only thing that actually says lion shark. Wow. Who is strong? Who is stronger, lion or shark? Okay, put a put 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 a lion in the water. Almost any large shark will kill it. Mm -hmm. Can a sea lion beat a shark? How is it beating it? And what kind of shark? God damn it, why are people stupid? Also, okay, wait a minute, if what if you put, put the shark, shark on land? land the lion will beat it. Yeah. Oh dear god, what are you people saying? <laughs> the shark will lose if the shark's on land. Yeah. Well, yeah. 
I mean, that's true. But do you know how heavy a shark is? No. Not very. Not it's very light. It's very light. No. They are extremely heavy. Like, let me... Uh... Weight of average white shark. Did you know I can and will bite and fight you? I dare they you They are 680 to 1,100 kilograms. We don't do metric system here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so then, KGD two pounds. Look <laughs> around we'll like I'm that. To <laughs> Can I catch on? No, most American statement. No. <laughs> you want to know what else is an American statement? Yeah. What? I don't know. <laughs> I, I quite literally know where you live. Then come over here, Dan. I dare you. No. Okay, uh... The max weight suggested there, uh... 1,100 kilograms is about 2,425 pounds. Ah. What's that metric yeah. oh, again? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so someday, <laughs> someday, right? You will wake up <laughs> and there will be shit in your lungs. Well, oh, oh, you are into. Oh, that's weird. How are you going to get into our house? That's a good question for future me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just out of nowhere. Right I just she's gonna give you the keys to her house. Maybe. I just like. Right, a... Were you still thinking about making a creator house? <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. Eventually, then if I if even we ever... get enough money. Then, it... then if we make a creator house, I will someday force shit into your lungs. The only thing I know about the creator house is that we're not. Out. I'm not gonna force anyone to be in videos. Or I, prob I probably won't even do vlog shit. Cause I haven't yeah. even done my- I haven't even uploaded my first vlog thing. The vlog thing with the dog. I haven't you even haven't done it even, yet. You haven't even uploaded a video with your face in it. I told you, I don't- I really don't feel comfortable showing my face yet. I know. Uh, yeah. But Penguin is just yeah. giving another example as to why it's less likely. Also, fucking- if I had to be honest, of all the sharks that I know of, tiger sharks are probably the ones that I would be the most uncomfortable to be in the water with. All of my team is level 61. What about bull sharks? Bull sharks? Like, I would be more comfortable around a bull shark. Because bull, like, bull sharks, like most other sharks, when they bite, it's either a, like, a sample bite to, like, just test things out because they're curious, or they're mistaking you for a food source. Tiger sharks, they will try to eat anything. They don't give a shit. Like, tiger sharks have been found with car tires in their stomachs. Like, oh. they, just, been... they just... They just eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. I've also been found uh, with a car tire in my stomach. Why may that's... be a bull shark? You mean a tiger shark? Tiger shark. God damn it, child. Fuck you. <laughs> but yeah, like, with a bull shark, if they bite me, I probably was dumb, or they were curious. A tiger shark, if they bite me, there's a decent likelihood that they literally just will were trying to eat me. Because they will eat literally anything they can. I think you were a yum 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 yum. Exactly. They're still good boys. We shouldn't be, like, demonizing them. But I'm just saying that of all the sharks, they would be the ones I'm most uncomfortable in the water with. 
my po Okay, so Grand Inferno is probably gonna be at level 80 by the time Eris gets to level 55. Oh my Pokemon are at level uh 61. How the fuck are your all of your Pokemon such different levels? I told you we got I got them at different times, and one of them was a trade over, which is a pseudo legendary, and they take a shit ton of experience level up. Okay, the pseudo legendary makes sense, but the others like they shouldn't take that long to level up. Well, they are. Get over it. Okay, here's here's the simplest explanation. Bright's not very good at Pokemon. Oh fuck yeah, that's you! Good I'm joking. No, it is a good explanation. I managed to complete an entire Pokédex within a month and a week. You counted? Yes. Because I had to do it for Damn. a school project. I had to do it for a school project. You did it for a school project? Yeah, we... we it was like during... Uh, we had to choose a, a life goal and they let me do that. Like, complete a full Pokédex. That is one of the sickest school projects I yeah. can think of. That's just like, like in a really dumb, fun little way. It's kind of like how, like at one point, uh, um, I was taking an accounting class, and in hindsight, uh, my teacher was a massive capitalist shill, but of course it's an economics class, um, and uh, my teacher at one point asked us to, uh, like do a ledger of an actual per like an actual handful of purchases we do and i thought i don't have fucking money so i did a ledger for my spending in gta online <laughs> and he, oh he was thrilled when i handed it in he thought it was so fun and creative for me to just like take take the concept say i don't make money I don't have money. I'm just going to do something else that is still within the assignments parameters. I think I got the highest score of everyone in the class. How much money did you spend in GTA? Uh, let's see. It was the first time I bought a Hydra Jet, so I think like, like I had like like six or seven transactions of varying amounts of income, and then like two like one two million or so. Uh expenditure and then one three million or so expenditure wow big big mon big numbers and uh yeah he loved it like i remember liking him because he was really cool but i also you know you now looking back he was a you know capitalist still although he was also really cool with the fact that at one point uh we had this, I think I've told this story before. My high school, uh, or my history teacher uh, started this tradition of doing like Halloween history balls where everyone would do a project on a particular historical figure and mm -hmm. dress up as them and go around and interview other historical figures. It was really fun. Uh, and Please don't tell me the... anyone dressed like, up like an Indian and they're white. You know what? I can't remember. <laughs> Please that don't might have happened. Me. Oh dear That may God. or may not have happened. I know that one like guy in my class that was a real dickhead dressed up as Gandhi, which really made me laugh my ass off. Because yeah. the dickhead dressed up as Gandhi. He didn't do blackface though. Oh thank if, God. If you're curious, he wasn't he wasn't darkening his skin. Actually, he kind of had the perfect skin tone to kind See, of pull did it you off. Know Gandhi was actually a giant asshole. Nah, yeah, probably. But anyway, point being, uh, on our final time uh, doing that, I dressed up as Karl Marx, and my close Which friend way it came from. And my close friend, uh, Verney slash Forte, dressed up as a young uh, Richard Engels, and then we had our accounting class. And uh, my accounting teacher had mentioned that he was about to throw out this old pumpkin. So uh, we asked, can we, can we seize your pumpkin? We took a Sharpie marker 
and wrote the means of production on the side of the pumpkin. So we seized the means of production. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that's kind of funny. It was, it was, it was a grand old time. And he was all for it. He was having a lot of fun with us. God damn it, my game crashed. Good. The maybe, maybe it had... Maybe it had a lot of... Maybe it was just having taking issue with the severe Pokemon rights violations you were committing. Shut up. Shut up. It seems like Gardevoir is really easy to level up. Uh, really easy to level up, which is good. Oh, I thought you were about to say Gardevoir is really easy to breathe. Jesus Christ. I mean, I'm... Yeah, and I human. mean, based upon certain sections of the inter internet, I guess you're not yeah. wrong. You know what I said next, Hatcher? What? I said, yeah, with humans. Oh, God. Oh, God. I mean, am I wrong? Well, no. But still, <laughs> oh, God. The child's here. Well, I didn't go further. But at this point, why are we concerned? The child's over here, like, mass-producing fucking sentient apples. <laughs> oh god, when was the last time my game back up to? Oh dear god, dragon. Oh fuck, did I fuck up? Oh no! <laughs> I mean, everything you did. Oh, here's a question. What if you. Oh no, no, I didn't. What, I'm if, good. what if the last backup save was like right before you opened all your eggs? Do they oh, already. All my eggs are gone. All my eggs are gone. They're fine. But no, like I'm asking like a hypothetical. If that was to happen, would it be made so that, uh, like, like with every opening, does it re-roll, or would you already have it, like, would it already be completely set as to whether or not those were shinies? I think it would already have been set. I, but also, uh, yeah, I think I'm good. It's I just think like it depends one... on when you save, if it'll re-roll. Mm. Interesting. Oh, yeah, just one or two of my Pokemon are just, like, a level weaker than they were for whatever reason that's fine yeah it's just a dumb little like game the system thing i thought of there yeah because i know in other games like it, it just depends on when you save like as long as you don't pick them up you can continue re-rolling them actually let me check my pokedex to make sure i right. am going to uh no. Fuck you. <laughs> I am going to make the name of my tiger shark be made with black and yellow, or black and orange stripes. Oh dear god, bookworm. <laughs> what did bookworm say? I'm still having issues with my thing. Did you know that Vaporeon is the best Pokemon in terms of human oh god, compatibility? No. God damn it, no, not that. I Please. That, <laughs> that joke is so annoying. <laughs> oh. Okay, I think everything, everything's fine. Look for why. I can't misspell tiger, did I? Yes. I'm not pulling a dumb. Shut your face. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Hatchet. Go burn in a ditch. That's a good way to say <laughs> love you. <laughs> That's how my parents say love you. <laughs> Fuck, I type in tiger and the first link that pops up is a link that is like www.flyingtiger.com What? Tiger. And then the thing is Flying Tiger Copenhagen Shop Online. Oh right, I have I my V my Opera's VPN probably. No, it's saying I'm in the Mar Where is Copenhagen? That sounds <sighs> You know what? I don't think I care. To potential viewers who are living is. in Copenhagen, wherever that is, um, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> well, watch me like the city right next to you. <laughs> wait, okay, wait. Let me see. Because is my fire cadet... I, I think... I don't know how much... Process. Okay, yeah, my fire cadet is leveled. Not leveled, uh, evolved, so I'm not that. I didn't lose that much. All the eggs are gone, so that's good. 
If I try to send the full copy of possible Twitch wouldn't let me send more than 500 characters. Whoa. Oh god, but oh, the... Whoa. <laughs> but the... Okay, never mind. I think I lost all the progress I did. Oh, Copenhagen oh, is in Denmark. Okay, yeah. Then oh, why is it... Save. Why is it putting me in Copenhagen? Why is it... Why is it giving me something related to Copenhagen? It says that I'm in the <laughs> Americas. Actually, I think it's specific... Wait, I actually... Come to think of it, let me look at it again. I think it specifically said that in Florida. Copenhagen, Florida. Oh, I think I just lost all the progress with all the. Uh, yeah, I the think. I, I think the it. IP address I'm at is in Florida. So, uh, Penguin, what you doing? Uh, How you doing? <laughs> I just lost like a few hours of work on Pokemon. Good job. Oh. Loading oh, the backup no. save. No, because the backup save is supposed to be recent stuff. It's not supposed to be like an hour or two back. That's weird. Because my oh, my I, I figured it out because my uh, my egg for the uh, the lechonk isn't hatched anymore. All right, so it's an egg. Still. I want to kill three more lux rings, then I'm going to go to bed. Okay. It was only like a few hours of work. I'll just like get all those eggs back and rehatch them. It's fine. So that's one. Two. Luxuries give you a lot of experience. I may yeah. remember to get back on here and upload these pictures here soon. Uh, child, just because mm -hmm. you are here, I feel like you would appreciate it. I shall send you Every image that I've made today. Yippee! No, not you, Flinks. Fuck off, Flinks. Oh, I have exactly ten base, like, nameplate cards. And three. Which is the image send limit. So there's all the base nameplate cards I've made. Uh, I think I think everything's fine uh, besides losing all the egg progress. I didn't lose anything too major. And the second post I'm doing are the two memes I've made. I swear, if I get fucking if I fucking crash right now, and nothing is saved, I'm gonna be one pissed motherfucker. Well, the, I saved after hatching all the eggs, so I should have just I should have just continued from the no, save because it was only me. like thirty minutes ago. I'm talking about me. But. Yeah, but you have autosave on, I don't. Oh, then you're a dumbass. Why well, don't I you did, have autosave on? Because I don't like autosave. And not only that, I, I also did save after the, all, hatching all the eggs. So I should have just loaded from there. But the thing is, auto, uh, the backup save is supposed to be like more recent. So it's weird that it was like an hour or two ago instead of recent. It goes, fuck you. Because it's supposed to be backup save is supposed to be better than uh, auto save because it's like the most recent, not like oh it's saved every five minutes. And that's the third Rux Ray. Wait, right, Rux. Keep... Oh. Rux Ray. Right, you keep you keep questioning why your your crocodile is so high level, and yet every time I look up at the screen, that's the one you're using. That's because probably... it's so high level. <laughs> Oh yeah, but you could, like, if you want to focus on leveling specific Pokemon, why don't you use those Pokemon? Because nothing in this area is good for Gardevoir kill. Like, she won't one-shot oh, everything, like Grand Inferno will. <laughs> well, you well have to okay. one-shot everything. Okay, one, if it's a little harder, so be it, it's a little harder. And two, if you want it to be easier, then go to a different area. <laughs> like, Yeah, there are many that areas hard. that have, like, level 50 Pokemon and shit. <laughs> I'm looking at Grand Inferno right now. They're level 78. God damn. Like, what? <laughs> so, I'm starting to realize, I think a lot of the Pokemon I uh, killed have been dropping HP I IVs, if you know what that is, Hatchet. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't think I'm supposed to have this high of an HP. At this level. From what I've looked at stats, it's usually not supposed to be this high at this level. 
which means I've been killing a lot of HP ones. So I've been gaining a lot of HP. I see. Wait, wait, actually... comes with your oh, Eevee. Not Ivy. Eevee. Why, why did I say Ivy? Thanks, Bookworm. But yeah, uh, Penguin, I have sent all of the images I made during the, like, almost 12 fucking hours I've been in the stream. Thank you. Also bright, it's 1 o'clock. I just re learned the difference recently from po from a PokeTuber. That's fair. I'm also kind of disappointed because thanks to the way that these streams go, I'm a bit more distracted than I'd like to be. I should have been able to get at least 20 of these out there. But, meh. Whatever. I hope you appreciate